Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. I was just looking outside and it's really foggy. I like opened the blind and thought, really? <laughs> so this morning, we have fog. Anyway, it's quarter to eight. I'm running late again. So I need to hurry up and get, get ready and get ready to school. So it's cold and foggy. film the fog <laughs> oh dear <laughs> and there it is so it's morning we're on school run it's really really cold and foggy and we're tired aren't we we're <laughs> just so tired oh we don't go to bed early enough at all ever <laughs> anyway so i hope you're all well my dear so it's wednesday ready for another bright day let's go i just wish that <laughs> Oh right, milk emergency. We've got no milk and I nearly drove past the shop. I've got my purse with me, so I remembered my purse, but I nearly forgot to go to the actual shop, so I've just remembered. So we need to go and get some milk. Let's go. made it home so the hammer's gone that was there yesterday so we've lost the hammer and we've still got a little bit of uppage on the blind so maybe that just gives them enough daylight that they can see for the day <laughs> anyway it's only nine o'clock so let's get the bread i get our breakfast bran plates for my breakfast so i've got bran plates and chopped banana so off to enjoy my little breakfast oh, right breakfast eaten so now we've got to do boring jobs so let's get the boring jobs done and then we'll see what we're gonna do today yeah let's hope there's no broken glass in my bolts either that was scary yesterday so anyway let's get washing up still tidying up from yesterday in my little sewing room stroke beauty room stroke everything else so um look i remember this bag i bought this bag when I sort of started doing my YouTube channel and I bought it brand new from Anya Hindmarch and I loved it so much. I've not used it for ages because it's massive. Look, it's as big as me. In fact, it's wider than me. I love it, but it's so big. And I think a lot of the fashions now are smaller bags, so I've not used it for ages, but I love it. I don't think I'll ever part with it because it's just cool. It's so unusual, but, oh, and it's quite heavy as well. Um, fabulous bags though great fun but um not the most practical thing to take shopping because it's so big oh i just sorting through some of my little jackets and i'm beginning to realize i have a fluffy obsession <laughs> i've got so many fluffy jackets it's terrible i love this one it's a zara one but it is slightly a bit tight so i'm thinking do i keep it or not because oh, i feel like i can't breathe in it but it's so fluffy and cute oh, it's so fluffy it's like a cape <laughs> And I love it so much. I've never worn it, but it's just amazing. I don't know what Florence is barking at. She's annoying. I keep I keep her in a bit of a bang outside. Every time there's a bang, Florence barks. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but there's nobody there. Um, yeah, so fluffy cape. And the fluffy jackets just keep on coming. <laughs> this is another one. I don't know if I like this one as much, though. It's fluffy, but um, not as fluffy. Like this bit's really fluffy, but this isn't, and the cuffs aren't. So, not sure if I like this one as much. Oh, how cute is this one? It's like a little dog tooth one. I like this. It's really nice. So, it makes me realise I don't really like the other one. So, perhaps I could get rid of the other one. This one's so cute. <laughs> the fluffiness continues. So, this is like a fluffy, like mohairy sort of coat. If you can see the fluff coming off it. Um. I haven't worn this one this year, I don't think. I like it, it's a bit different, but I don't know if it really suits me. It's okay, but it's not really got that much of a wow factor, but it's a bit different. Right, 
it, lippy of the day. So lippy of the day today is NYX Powder Puff Lippy. So it's got like a little sponge on the end, so you squeeze it, and then the little sponge, stuff, uh, the lipstick comes through the sponge and then you dab it on your lips. It's quite a nice colour, isn't it? It's very neutral, um, but it's nice. Um, I think the colour's called Best Buds, and it feels really like soft and like velvety on your lips. It's really nice. So anyway, so it's now five past 11. I would have a cup of coffee if I was staying at home, but I am nipping out. So we've got three bin bags of stuff to take to the second hand shop. So let's go. I'm in the car. So I've got my new fluffy white coat on. Oystery sort of colour. Um, bag of the day is still my Mulberry Willow. I love it so much. It's so lovely. I was going to swap out of it, but then I didn't have time. So I'm still using it. So off we go. So first things first, I'm just at Tesco. So I just need to get some ham. So because it's cold, it won't matter if it sits in my car. So I'm going to go get some ham and some bread. And then I've got to get some petrol. Then we'll go to the charge shop. And then we'll go home. Let's go. Done. Um, that's just cost me £35. <laughs> fuel so expensive. Fuel is so expensive in England, it's horrible. Right, let's go to charity shop. Off we go. Thank you. 
in the car. I really like this lipstick. It's really nice. Yeah, it feels lovely on your lips. It's a really nice colour. So, oh, right, we're back in the car. I've bought a few bits. I bought another jacket. <laughs> There's no hope. <laughs> anyway, so I need to go home. So off we go. There's my little dinner. So I've made it home with us. I've rushed my quick dinner up. So I've got mackerel in olive oil, little tomatoes, seafood sticks, and a uh, little shopping mug. So off to enjoy my dinner. I'm starving. Oh, how funny. My dinner was lovely, by the way. I don't know if you read the sign in the charity shop that said about start a new fashion and change the toilet roll. <laughs> I think I should have bought that sign for my house. That would have been a really good thing i could have put it just there and they might have read it about swapping the toilet roll <laughs> it was so funny i should have bought right, it what did i buy today i bought too much i only went in two chair shops but the first one was really good um so i got this for ruby it is a makeup brush holder um it was 1.99 but um like i said she's getting her own desk or so i thought It'll be nice, even if she puts pens and stuff in it. They're very useful. So I thought she'll like that for a bit some bobs. Um, I bought the fluffy, the fluffy jacket, which I really shouldn't have bought. But this is so trendy at the minute. And I thought, yeah, that's just like the latest style. And I have tried some on in new shops, but some of them didn't sit quite right because they've got buttons. Whereas this one's got a zip and it did seem to sit really well. So I really like that. I bought this gorgeous green scarf. I really wasn't going to buy any more scarves because I've got quite a lot of scarves, but I thought it would match my long, like, puffery coat, which is really, really warm, but my neck always gets cold. So I thought this is the right sort of shade green to go with the coat. So it is brand new. It's a Primark one, but it got all its new tags on it. Um, so I thought that was all right, and it's really, really soft as well. And I love this colour green. It's like a khaki green, and it's so soft really nice i really liked that and then i also bought the jumper with the hearts on because i was talking to the lady from mix mix boutique this morning and we're gonna go and do some photos again very soon and she said they've got lots of stuff with hearts on and stuff which is lovely for valentine's day so i bought this for the hearts on um it is too big for me but i'm gonna wear it as an oversized jumper and you can maybe even pull it across and sort of see your shoulder and stuff so i thought that was really cool um i bought the polo neck because again i love these rusticky sort of colors i think they really do complement the red in my hair so um i thought that was really nice so as it gets slightly warmer i'll be able to wear that and then i did buy the other polo neck one as well well it's not quite a polo neck but it's got like a little high neck because again i like these little right ruffly necks so it's got like a little ruffly collar and then it got a little ruffly like style bottom as well and this is not a color i ever really wear and i thought actually for a change it's quite nice so um i thought that would complement my hair as well so a bit different so that i think yeah it is i didn't mind now so that was it so that was all that i bought so i bought quite a lot so and i went into two shops that's what it's like sometimes though you just don't know what you're gonna find so when it's good it's really good <laughs> but i have had a clear out and my fluffy coat i messaged my friend and i said would you like to buy this the one that i tried on this morning so she said yes she would so i've got rid of my fluffy coat so i've got rid of one and bought another one 
<laughs> anyway, we're here, so now we need to do some hoovering up. I've not hoovered for a while. Obviously, I hoovered upstairs yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to hoover downstairs. So I'm really excited to use my shark hoover again. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I cannot wait to hoover. I'm so excited. So let's go and get Mr. Shark out. Right, Mr. Shark, are you feeling hungry? Yes, I am, Janie. Right, without further ado, let's do some hoovering. Ooh. Ooh, I never showed you Ruby's green throw thing that we got the other day. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so lovely. I love Ruby's bed. It's so comfy. Oh, working my way around. But again, you see, it's worked. It's magic. Can you see that? That's all muck out my carpets. I love this hoover so much. Or vacuum, whatever I should call it. But Mr. Shark, I love you. <laughs> It's a hard life watching somebody else hoovering, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't really seem bothered by it though, does she? Check out the headlights! Woo! Even husband likes the headlights. <laughs> They're LED! <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? See where you're going! Right, so I've done my carpets, now I've made my way through. So now I'm gonna do my hard floor. So my little hoover's empty again. So let's see how much fluff we get off the kitchen floor. It's so hot. <laughs> I've had a major hot flush. So I've stopped for a cup of coffee. I'm so hot. I've nearly finished hoovering. But I've just got hotter and hotter because I've got a jumper on and like the oven's on and stuff. So oh, I've had to strip off. So I've just got my little rest up on. I'm boiling. I think it might be my age. Oh, look. It's still light. It's five to five at night and it's still light. I finished the hoovering and the sun's just going down. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, I've managed to rust myself up some tea. So I've got ham toasters that I've made on brown bread, lots of salad, and then a couple of boiled eggs and some low fat mayonnaise. So off to enjoy my little tea. When your friend leaves dinner again. <laughs> Miss Winnicky is looking at Florence's leftover dinner. Can you resist Winifred? I'm not moving. You're not eating that. You'll get really fat if you have two dinners, trust me. No good waving your tail about. No, it's no good wagging your tail, my darling. You can't have two dinners, no. If I, if I left her in here on her own, she would eat that. Wouldn't you? Yes, you've had your dinner, sweetheart. Right, my tea was lovely. So we're back in Ruby's bedroom with Mr. Draco. <laughs> um, so we're just going to move um, that chest of drawers from over there to over here. And then we're going to measure up, see if she can have a desk. Because we think a desk would fit better over this side of the room. So I'm just waiting for my husband to help me move the chest of drawers. Oh, that's me and Ruby. <laughs> oh, look at that. Aren't they lovely when they're little? Look at her little ears and her hair. She was only a couple of days old, I think. Mm, she's so sweet. What an adorable little photo to, tre to treasure. So sweet. Right, my dears. I think I've sorted all the bedrooms so far. So stressful. Anyway, my dears, so thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do enjoy Life in England, daily vlogs, handbags, shopping, whatever else we get up to, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. And I love you and leave you and speak to you tomorrow. And I forgot to say, I didn't pick Ruby up from school because she went out with her grandma. So her grandma picked her up and then they went to Tesco together and she had tea there. So I had some peace and quiet. <laughs> so I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.